Tonight I'm pleased to recognize the winning students who participated in the Energy Services of Pensacola Sustainability and Energy Education uh, program for fourth grade, um, the drawing contest, and ESP Smart Energy Education program for sixth grade in the essay contest. This is the fourth consecutive year ESP has provided these uh, free educational programs to all schools in Escambia County. This year, 15 schools from both public and private sectors participated in the contest. Since the beginning, the program has been presented to more than 5,000 students. The winning students will receive a certificate of accomplishment and $125. Uh, 100 of that is from ESP and $25 uh, dollars from Members First Credit Union in a savings account. And uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, uh, call up Ms. Natasha um, Reynolds, um, ESP's Green Energy Specialist, who developed and implemented these educational programs to make brief comments about the programs themselves. Thank you. This is a celebration for us. At Energy Services of Pensacola, we're just thrilled that so many students and schools have participated in our C programs this year. And the C programs, the Sustainability and Energy Education Program, the Smart Energy Education Program, and the Saving Energy Education, the Saving is Energy Program, have given us an opportunity to contribute to our schools in our field of expertise, which is knowledge, uh, which is energy and uh, we've been able to contribute that knowledge to our schools. So we're really, really thrilled about that. This program's actually won a national award from the American Public Gas Association, and now our sister natural gas utilities around the nation are using this program for their educational purposes. So we're really happy about this program. And um, I should mention as well that we have other energy education programs available to community groups as well. As part of this program, we are sponsoring a contest, actually an essay and a drawing contest, where children were requested to write or draw about energy, um, energy efficiency, energy conservation, and sustainability. And their outstanding work has earned them $100 from Energy Services of Pensacola which we actually deposited into a savings account that we opened at <coughs> Members First Credit Union. And Members First Credit Union has partnered with us to try to get their savings account opened and also has given them an additional $20, $25 actually. So for a total of $125, which is awesome. And now children are not just learning how to save energy, they're learning how to save money as well which is consistent with our message. So you, you guys should be proud of yourselves, um, and your parents are, your teachers are. We are really, really proud of you. And thank you, members of First Credit Union, for the work that you have done. We're just really excited to have partnered with you. You have made this program a success, and the teachers and the schools have also made this program a success. And at this point, I'd like to mention the schools that have been participating this year. Bellevue Middle School, Blessed Star Montessori Christian School, Brown Barge Middle School, Enslee Elementary School, Escambia Christian School, Little Flower Catholic School, Marcus Point Christian School, Molino Park School, Montessori School of Pensacola, Redeemer Lutheran School, Warrington Middle School, and Workman Middle School. Thank you so much for participating this year. And uh, lastly, I would like to say that ESB is so appreciative to have had the opportunity to work with the schools, the district um, of schools of, of Escambia County. Thank you so much. Your input and your direction has been crucial to this program. And we've worked hand in hand to make sure that these programs have the benchmarks that the science department has directed us towards. So thank you so much for your work, Nancy Stanley and, and Kim Walden and Mr. Malcolm Thomas and Mr. Mercanio. They're all here. Thank you so much. Thank you.
it must be an election year. I see uh, Superintendent Malcolm Thomas um, out there. Glad you're finally able to join us for this uh, um, celebration. Anyway, if you'd like to say some remarks, sir, just um, take the lectern. I always show up when we're going to honor students. Uh, this is actually the first time I've been invited to come to your ceremony, so that's why I'm here. You invite me if you're honoring our students, I'm always going to show. Uh, the school district has had a partnership with Energy Service of Pensacola since 2008. Uh, we have a strong energy education program throughout our K-12 system. But it's something special in a classroom when you can bring an engineer from ESP to come into a classroom and speak. Often that engineer will say and talk about many of the concepts that the teacher has taught, but hearing it from a new voice, seeing a new face in a classroom makes the students perk up and listen just a little bit better. So we certainly appreciate uh, you lending some of that expertise from uh, ESP to our school district. We are trying to teach our students to manage and conserve our finite energy resources. They are the generation, hopefully, that will do a lot better with that than my generation has done, and it's going to happen through education. So thanks for your support. Okay, thank you, Superintendent. <laughs> I'm going to ask Vice President uh, Ronald Townsend to join me up here in, in handing out the certificates. And if Ms. Reynolds, if you, would you mind doing us from the lectern here? Okay, thank you. Yeah, if, if you, it just, I think it'd be a little easier. That's fine. I'll be happy to stand us. here. Andrea Rogers from Warrington Middle School. Angela Chen. She's not here. Anthony Patron from Montessori School of Pensacola. Oh, the other side. Arianna Perry from Bellevue Middle School. Donovan O'Day from Redeemer Lutheran School. <laughs> Elijah Harrigal from Molino Park School. <laughs> Eliza Velachos from Redeemer Lutheran School. <laughs> Elizabeth Kim from Brown Barge School. Gabrielle Gully from Escambia Christian School. <laughs> Jeremiah Harris from Escambia Christian School. Jordan Pollock from Montessori School of Pensacola. <laughs> Catherine Armstrong Little Flower Catholic School. <laughs> I 
This is actually the second time she wins in our contest. Wow. The first time it was fourth grade with a drawing. This time it's an essay. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Galloway with Marcus Point Christian School. Nayeli Paris from Ensley Elementary School. <laughs> Fao Dang from Workman Middle School. Congratulations to um, all the winners uh, um, there. We had, I had moved this portion of the program up because uh, it's school night and normally would have followed our, our open forum. And uh, um, Dr. Wu? Uh, they already left. Okay, all right. Well, I would like to thank the students and their parents for coming here, the schools for supporting them, Superintendent Thomas, thank you. And uh, Natasha, I think this wonderful program you've done. Thank so. Okay.